what a beautiful sight today we're on the farm we're on a young female farm who has been making waves here in jamaica in farming her name is farmer girl jesse can you count how many times i've said farm already yes so today is going to be a beautiful day but before i get into the video guys i want to shout out a youtube channel that has been supporting shans and zen jamaican vibes for the past couple of months this channel is called Empty Nesters Jamaica Vibes. So I want you to go over there to Empty Nesters Jamaican Vibes, subscribe to their channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell them that Shanzen Zen Jamaican Vibes sent you. All right, the link to their channel will be in the description of this video. I'm so excited about today's video, so let's get right into it. Hey guys welcome back to the channel today i have an interview that i've been longing to do here with us today i have farmer girl jesse yes let me take off my mask so you can hear me better and it's such a pleasure to be here with her today because i've been following her for a while and i must say i'm very encouraged and inspired by the work that she's doing she's a 25 year old single parent and she's doing this lovely farming here in St. Elizabeth. Um, Jesse, Jesse, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you. It's a pleasure for me also. Yes, yes. So today she's going to do some fogging. You're going to fog, right? Yes, I'm going to fog um, the cabbages with some herbicides. Right. But before she starts her fogging, we're just going to try to get to know her a little better. So um, how exactly did you get started in farming? Oh, wow. I started when I have no other choice because um, I'm a high school dropout I got um, I'm a teenage mom also so you know that's what I found in, in my surrounding I saw um, farming as a positive move for me at that moment so I just went right into it okay yeah so I've been doing it from I was about um, 30 somewhere there uh, yeah yes so you've been doing it for a long time because yes. you're 25 now. Yes. And you just started straight farming, or what? How you? What you did before you started farming? The first thing I did, I um, I used to go to the market. Oh, okay. Um, as a teen also, mm -hmm. until I said um, maybe if I have something for myself in whatever I take to the market, it would be pay me much better. So I went ahead and I planted some carrots. Mm -hmm. That was my first very first crop, mm -hmm. and um, the yield was good. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I started from there going back to school stop again and stuff like that until you know I said you know what let's just stick to one thing and mm -hmm. I stick to farming okay yeah. and it's working out lovely for you I love your farm yes thank you how how big is this farm that you have um, the, the cabbage the cabbage I'm not sure maybe um, I'm not sure on the acres because it is not that flat oh the flat of the surface is it's better on acreage Oh. So I'm not really sure how much it is right now. So how you manage the farm? You do everything by yourself? No, I work meant to do some of the work. Okay. But I cannot handle I work meant to do it. Like the spray, no, I can do this by my own, so I do it. So you're gonna spray all this for all this cabbage by yourself? Yes. I should have started earlier but I came here late. Oh so my god. And the sun is out it's gonna be much hectic. But yes, you know, yes. I'm gonna get it done. It's very inspiring what you're doing here, man. I hope females out there who are thinking about farming um see this as an inspiration or motivation for them to pursue their dream in farming because i mean farming is what feed us yes true it's very important to the economy of any country yeah. and and you're playing a vital role in that yes. so we're happy about that as a female <laughs> yes yes mm. sometimes people tend to push you back because you're a female so you don't get your work done at the particular time you wanted it to, and that can push your farming way downhill right because you have to like any other work it's timely right if you're gonna if you have a spray day that day have to be a spray day you cannot spray today and say okay i'm gonna spray whenever no you have to schedule your time mm -hmm. it's a time frame with everything on the farm mm -hmm. you have to set dates you have to set times and it's like a um a calendar yeah it's like school yes. right it's like any other job you have to do what you have to do and um sometimes you know drought Yes. sometimes too much rain that again we have no control over we can't complain either we yes. just work around it and with it yes yeah yes. and sometimes financial problems sometimes you want something and you cannot get it at that time yeah right so you have to um push back again and wait until you get some funds to do whatever you plan to do and stuff like that 
Yeah. So aside from the cabbage that you have here, what else you have farming now? I have sweet potatoes, I have Irish potatoes, I have carrots wow. and sweet peppers and I just planted some cucumbers and pumpkins last week. Wow, that's a lot of farming man. Yes, a whole lot. Yes. So it's like a school. I come here like every day, almost every day. Yes. Sometimes I don't have rest day in a week. Yeah, yeah. Because um the amount of work here to do I have to get them done. I cannot um push back a work until tomorrow because I have tomorrow work schedule already. Mm -hmm. So I have something planned today I have to get it done today. Right. Yes. I do my own little farming too but it's not as big as this. Um I plant some thyme and scallion and sweet pepper too. Still an inspiration. But yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you you are one of the big inspiration. It's you know what? I said when I was going to do my first solo female interview i wanted it to be something that was yeah. impactful yes and that could impact youths you know the yeah. youths and that's very important to me yeah. so i'm glad that you were the person that i got to do <laughs> my first solo Thanks female so interview me, yeah. <laughs> yes okay so jesse is going to start her fogging right now so we're just going to watch her fog the cabbage for a little bit Yes. And and then we move on to the other produce that she have planted. And here I have to you have you, um these gloves, these are my protective gear. These um simple gloves are for ha the handling of the chemicals because the the herb the um the insecticides mm -hmm. they tend to um let your fingers feel stiff whenever you finish using them. Oh. And the gloves is a, this mask is to protect me from the breeze blowing back the f the, the um the chemicals to my face. Right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after all this working, Jesse decided to take a break and she and I had lunch together. Yeah man, well tick up man. So yeah peeps are out here upon the farm today. We just had to look a light work so you know we lunch I got light. We have some oats and you know with dragon and them something there and fish and bread and we're well good with that and some syrup, you know, just something light because we now do much hard work so we now do no cooking today, as you can see. <laughs> we're out here, we can't depend on the farm hungry, right? Some jargon and some vanilla lasco. Yeah. Well rich and full of protein. Yeah, see my cup. The ginger beer back in my cut off, you know. They depend on the family, you know, alternatives. <laughs> yes. Be creative. Yeah. So thanks, Jesse, for my lunch. Mm -hmm. For my girl, Jesse, big up. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jesse is going to continue to show us the rest of her crabs. So, um, this is my sweet potato farm, and here I have. A root of marijuana and yes. you know without this on the farm it is not a farm definitely and a jamaican farm you always <laughs> have to have a root if i even one root of this marijuana the good yes. old kush we have to have a root of this on the farm yes. at every farm so this is 
the sweet potato farm. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, actually, um, then go with some herbicides. Yes. You can see the burnt, the burnt bushes. Yes. So these are gonna burn out and be the potato. Okay. So by two wee taps, everything is gonna spread all over the place. Mm -hmm. it's gonna become, um, the branches of the sweet potato are gonna become broad and you know. So, okay, so how long now you plant the sweet potato? Um, I lost track of it. Oh. But it's been a while now. It, it doesn't reach further because of the drought that we've been having. Right. And you know, sweet potato need um, water to spread up and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Every plant a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you think this, this sweet potato will be ready the next three months or so? Oh, probably less. Probably less? less? Oh. Because they normally take what, five months or six? No, four month tops. Four? Some yeah. of them come in three month tops, but I guess this is four. Okay. Based on the drought and the weather you have it. Okay. Because if it is too dry, it's going to take long. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're going over to the carrot now. Yeah, these are my carrots. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, they're pretty. Yes, they look lovely. They've been getting some rain. Thank God for that. Yeah. And they've been doing um, they're at their best right now. And as you can see, I have some trees along the, the fence there. They need to get, they need to be cut down for the carrots to get um, the maximum sun it needs. Okay. Because without that, they're gonna come fine and small and stuff like that. Yeah. I've been trying to reach a salmon, but um, I can't. He's so busy. Like oh, you need a salmon to cut the down yes. trees. If I did have one for myself, I could use one of my workmen, but we don't have any salmon right now, and I cannot get a hold of the salmon. Oh. So I'm gonna have to get them cut down pretty soon, though. Mm -hmm. So, so be nice if you had a salmon. So. Yeah, it would be great because all of this area that you see here, mm -hmm. I have to use a salmon, fair salmon, to get the whole area cut down because everything here was under trees and debris and stuff. Oh, okay. yes. That must nice cost pizza. quite a penny. I'm telling you. Because it's a whole heap of land. Yes. I've been working here for about two months. Yeah. Before I actually planted something. Oh yeah? Just cleaning it. Oh. Yes, it was in a devastating condition with debris and trees and everything like that. Two months just getting it prepared. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, so that's a whole heap of investment there. Yeah. Without even planting anything. Yeah. Mm -mm. That is why um that is why most people doesn't engage into farming. Because they're thinking about the money they have to spend right. before they actually can harvest or even put in something. Right, yeah. But I think it's gonna be much easier the next time farming it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first part is gonna be the hardest. Okay? Yes. It always is the hardest. Yes. Because they have to start from scratch. Yes, yes. Once you get into it, it's easier. Yeah. One carrot, lovely. Yeah. I also use some. As you can see, I also use some herbicides in the carrot. As you can see, these bushes, these are um, burnt up. Yes. I, I use Corazon herbicide okay. to kill the grass and leave the carrots. Okay. That um, saved me strength and time mm -hmm. and also money. Yes. Because um, I would have to pay somebody or I would have to weed it out myself. Yes. And that yeah. would cost me like a couple of days well. <laughs> yes, a lot of days. Yeah. So, so now, the ones that are not burnt, I can just go along and pull out the, the few bushes that are left now. Right. Like these. I just walk and pull them out and give the carrot a little bit more air. Whenever mm -hmm. I have time. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot of work, same way. A whole lot. Yes. That's why I told you um, earlier that I'm on the farm most days. Last yeah. week I did not have a day off. So you mean, what time do you normally come out in the morning? After getting my son ready for a drop off, I leave out about um, 7 30. Oh, wow. So I wake up each morning after 5 <laughs> to oh. get everything prepared. And you have two sons, right? Yes. So one is in school now, how you manage with that? Wow, it is a headache, trust me. Because <laughs> you leave them there yeah. with their devices to get their work done. When I go back home, it's something else. <laughs> you still have to go back home, go be a teacher again. So after being a farmer on the farm each day, I have to go back home and be um and be a teacher. Mm -mm. I'm a teacher and a chef, a maid <laughs> and a nurse. You're doing a remarkable job at it though. Look at your farm man. Here is my Irish potato. Oh, this is the Irish. So I have two stages of Irish potato. Mm -hmm. One is older. 
this is the older one next to next to harvesting. Okay. Yes. These ones are older. Yes. So I think I can go along and scratch a few and show you what it looks like down there. Okay. How long did Irish potato take to come? Um, it's my first time planting sweet Irish potatoes. It's my first time. But I think it's about three months or three less than three months, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it was, I thought it was longer I planted the sweet potato before, but mine took a while, that's why I asked if it was six months. Oh, oh I almost scratched it. There they are, that's yes. how they, that's the fruit. I scraped it, but you know, mm -hmm. it's okay. it will come along, yeah, so that's the Irish potato. It's lovely, man. Yes, yes. Well, we're gonna get some nice size Irish potato. Yes, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. But I look do at the that. size of those already. Yes, and they're not a professional as yet. Mm -hmm. These are the older ones. Yes. Like I said they're older next to harvesting, right? Yeah. And now we're going to the younger patch. Okay. This is my playground. Oh, like, this is my playground. This is my farm is my playground. Yes. Whenever I'm feeling, you know, down or agitated or whatever, I just come to the farm and you know, everything changes. Yes. Yes. It's it's like therapy. Yes. If you have some stress, you just go to the farm and de stress. It's worse when it's do when it's doing fine like no, you know, we get some rain. It is a I don't know, it, it's a it's a heartwarming feeling to me to get some rain on the farm. Yes. So these are the younger ones as you can see the difference these ones are greener they are fresher they're standing attention more oh those yes. ones are starting to lean because they are it's going down oh yes i can time. see so whenever um it's ready they dry down they just started to drill the leaves are gonna dry down so you're gonna know it's ready to harvest oh that's what i learned about irish potato as oh. i said it's my first time engaging in an um, in irish potatoes sweet potato was my main crop mm -hmm. but now i spread to a wide variety of stuff yeah man that's good so now, these are the younger um irish potatoes now i'm going to get them mold okay did you know about that that we have to mold them you had to you have to mold them even yes. after they plow the line yes so these oh. are the gels we skipped here we oh. misplanted here so after um after planting it yeah. and it reaches to a certain dimension like this or maybe earlier yeah. you have to go along and mold it so the dirt from the outer side or the top you mold it onto the Irish potato root oh. so it gives it uh, more space right you cover the root more for it to grow and expand bigger right yes. so you so you mean that you have to walk through and mold all of this all of it oh all my it. god yes that's a whole lot of work man yes it is mm -hmm. Holy for work. They are lovely. I'm surprised because when I was planting them, I wasn't thinking that it would look like this. As I oh. said, it's, it's my first time. Yes, they look and lovely, man. Yes. It's a view like from that. here. Trust me. Whoa. So those are the younger cabbage up there. Yes. And they come all the way up there. And over back on that side, what you have over there? Where? Around there. Oh, over there, I have some. Um, we're going there anyways. I'm going yes. to show you what is going on over there. Because they want different barrels. <laughs> Beautiful Irish potato. My gosh. I'm going to try it, you know. I'm going to try the Irish yeah. and see how it works. I don't know if the red dirt, I don't think I'd, I see anybody in Central um, South, in the South, planting Irish. They plant sweet potato a lot, but the Irish itself, Irish potato. So I'm going to try and, it. And um, on financial wise, yeah. on a financial scale, Irish potato is next to planting cabbage. Right. It is really expensive to bring forth. Cabbage and Irish potatoes are two of the uh, most expensive crops to bring forth. So like That's how, what I learned. So like you know how with sweet potato you, pa you plant the slip, right? Yes. The Irish, how you do it? From you, seed? Yes, you plant the seed. Okay. The, the Irish potato itself, that's what we call the seed. Oh, yes. So yes. we dice it in two. Oh. There's a, there's a particular way to plant it, you know. 
just like the seed potato, you plant it going forward. Yes. There's a um a technique, a technical way of planting the seed the Irish potato also. Okay. And I learned that you have to use you have to put Clorox as in bleach mm -hmm. on the knife after dicing the Irish potato mm -hmm. for it not to catch bacteria oh. from each other. Oh. So after dicing one, you dip the knife in Clorox water oh. and dice the other one and you continue. Oh, interesting. So one, one, one potato give you two plants, okay. give you two seeds. Okay. Yes. Oh, you just dice it in two. Yes. Here, I, here, um, I planted, I sowed some, um, some tomato seeds here, mm -hmm. but the drought have them looking like this. Oh, you sow tomato. Mm -hmm. So these are the tomatoes? Yes, this is, is a tomato um, nursery that I sowed. Okay. But because of the drought. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's like this. So hopefully I can get um, some plants off it. Right. Yeah. I can go on my Instagram and we'll see everything. Yeah. I did not do this on my own because I did not have the financial to do it. Okay. Persons helped me and I used the money to do all this. Yes. I sacrifice a lot and just tell myself, this is what I want. Yes. And I go at it because with the pretty last minute I had. Oh, with your sweet potato. Turn your first food. I'm gonna tell you say, that man who don't make the video. Mm-hmm. Me just feel bad. I'm gonna just make a video. Okay. I'm gonna tell you say, you reach, you reach way out. Yeah man. I saw the video. Yes. Everywhere you walk, there's the sweet potato dig. It look like them did dig up the entire ground? No. Oh. Okay. So, Missy, you have the zinc them in the um, drum. Why you have it like that? Um, I have it like that because here we don't want to do irrigation systems. We have to work off uh, rainfall right. or you have to bring water from a tank to wherever you want it or whatever. So, mm -hmm. I just set the drums and wait on the rain to fall. Whenever the rain comes now, um, if it comes good, I can get a drum full of just that one zinc. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's what the catchments are for to catch water from the rainfall. So, what do you use the water to do? To do any spraying or anything. Just oh. anything that requires water on the farm. And how much drums do you have now? I have like two, three, four, five. I have like six of them right now. But, whoa, I need a lot more drums. I was going to say, so how you manage that side? Because you have no drum, no drums are over that side. So, how you manage with that side? You have to carry water yes, from I have here? Yes, I have some drugs, some five gallon drugs that um, I fetch the water in from the tank. Mm -hmm. and we bring them all the way around there and go over there so it's really hectic on the water part to bring it because I, me myself i hate to bring water trust oh me oh my god <laughs> yes so with, the, with these drums it helps me a lot it, help, it really helps me a lot because if rains fall today mm -hmm. come tomorrow don't have to bring any water tomorrow but you know if, if you could even get some of the bigger drums the blue the black drums or the white plastic ones yes really any one of them i get like i'm appreciative of it yeah, because man. I really need um, drums, water, water catchment overall. Yes, yes. Hmm. On that side, um, I have some cucumbers that I just plant. I planted 3,000 cucumbers, mm -hmm. 3,000 something mash mash, and I planted some pumpkins. So sooner, soon, I'm gonna need water over there. Yeah. 3,000 cucumbers, that's a lot, man. Yeah. Mm -mm. You need water, you need the drums, you need some drums. And as you can see, we have cabbages go all the way up there. So I'm gonna need that drum up there, up up there also, because to bring water from down there to come up here is gonna be really hectic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to leave all of your information in the description of the video. So anybody wanna reach out to you? Yeah. They can. And you're on IG as well, right? Yes, as Farmer Girl Jessie. And yes. all social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. Yes, Farmer Girl I was just going to say that they should follow your channel. You should definitely subscribe to her channel and watch her grow. See her, see her doing her day-to-day -day, um, activities in her farm. You know, and just support her. 25-year-old farmer. And look at this farm. <laughs> this is no baby farm, you know. This is no baby farm. So, what are some of the challenges you have? Uh, as a female farmer um sometimes i don't really have help manually so i have to wait on people to come and do the work that i would want them to do like 
for, for instance, uh, I need to do something today. Mm. I asked a couple of men like days ago. They said yes, and when it comes to the day, they put me off to another date, and that stagger my farm and what I have to do a bit. Mm -hmm. And as I told you before, I have water problems. I have um, salmon problem because I've I've been checking for salmon all over, not getting any to cut down the trees I want to cut down. Right. So therefore, my farm is being shaded mm -hmm. and not getting the um the, the maximum sun that it needs to get, right. and, all, and all of that. And um, sometimes financial problems like everybody have that right yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes you need to do something but because you have to go to go hustle little money again to come put on the farm right so, you know it's kind of hectic you know yeah. in all in all um at all sites at all angles mm -hmm. you have to just know how to work around it and go about doing how you can do it as best as possible right but you've been doing a great job at it yeah this is let me tell you something not, not a lot of meal farmer can do what you do now you yes. know yes and not I, a as I said before, this farm yeah. is my playground. This is where I enjoy being. People normally ask, what do you do for fun? Yeah. And honestly, this is my fun. Yeah. My farm is my fun. This is my playground. Whenever I come here in the morning and see that the, the, what the rain did like overnight and whatever, I feel good. I feel great. Like, yeah. you know, I would just want to come back tomorrow again. Yeah. When the farm is like this, I just want to come here every day just to look at the farm. So, so yeah. So what you, um, how you get your produce out there? Um, I go to the market. Okay. I go to new market. Okay. New mar the market um in my vicinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sell wholesale or maybe the persons that are going to market, mm -hmm. you know, like going to farm um market further. Mantigo be a Kingston they normally buy from us or from the wholesale market. Oh, so, so you don't have any problem getting the goods no, off? Not now. Okay. And because no, since this pandemic, mm -hmm. food is being at a high demand. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, it doesn't normally go to the point where you don't have market right. that easily right yes, now. Yes, yes. So I hope it continues like this. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> not the pandemic though. No, not the pandemic. <laughs> Just but, the market. Yes, yes, the market. <laughs> but tomato was at a low low the other day. I felt bad, even though I didn't have any. Yes. I felt really bad for the farmers who, you know, had that great loss mm -hmm. with the um with the tomatoes yeah back in on the south side yes, boy it was crazy man a lot of persons lost a lot of money on their yeah, tomato farm yeah. mm -hmm. yes but it happens like that you know when you're doing that's why most as i said most people don't do farming because they tend to look at the negative side of it yes they look at the side um saying what if it doesn't heal mm -hmm. what if it don't get rain what if, you know, what if something bad happens? Yes. I don't farm based on that. Mm -hmm. I farm because I am a farmer yes. and I believe in farming. This is my job. This is my full-time job. Mm -hmm. I come here almost every day. So, you know, yes. and what you're about to do. You hear that, young people? <laughs> you have to believe it. You cannot just do something mm -hmm. and expect for it to be at it at its best all the time right yes. but you have to go with that hopes though mm -hmm. hoping that it comes out like that yes but yes. you cannot stop because you get one bad day or two bad days you have no. to just keep the faith go at it and know it will get better one day a true man wow as i over here i planted three thousand tops um cucumbers yeah um with, with pumpkin also as oh. you can see here i planted it last week yeah and as you can see here i'm getting growth oh they are busting here you can see yes yes they are coming up mm -hmm. here so this is the cucumber yes i planted it um i planted it saturday no i planted it tuesday tuesday gone wow tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and it's was i planted this um tuesday yes because i planted off the moon three days after full after the full moon yes yes it's and they're already coming out wow no one i did not expect this yes it's so magnificent yes so look at that people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this entire area go back all the way around here it's got to be cucumbers oh yes no jesse man me think it's just down there you know i'm playing go all the way from that and from that um out there oh all the way from that end there yes wow no man you deserve a prime minister youth award for this so there i need to get all those three cut down as i said i don't have oh uh, you need the saw to cut down from there to get to plant pumpkin or whatever i want to plant over there yes yes so going back that direction yes so these are all cucumber mm -mm. 
This is a lot of farming. So who planted the cucumber, Jesse? Um, last week Saturday, mm -hmm. I employed six men to mm -hmm. get it dug up, mm -hmm. to dug the holes like this. Mm -hmm. I employed six men, and then um, because it was full moon. I could not plant the cucumbers and the full moon because they would be too big and burst oh. at harvest stage. So I come back Tuesday with two men mm -hmm. and myself and plant the cucumber seeds. Whoa! So in all I work um, six, seven, eight men. This is amazing. This is more than amazing. And you know I'm from the south side where a lot of farming takes place. And yes. I don't I've never seen, I've seen women doing farming, as I said, I do farming too, but never have I seen someone so young doing farming on such a big scale. Yeah. It is amazing. Thank you. Can't talk about it. You know, we don't feel like this until somebody says it. Oh, yes? <laughs> yes, because I come here like every day, so I'm used to it. I'm used to what is here. Yes. So I don't feel like it is this big until someone said it. Yes. Because someone come by yesterday yes. and the first it was a it was a male. Yeah. And he was surprised. He stood up and he was looking and he was saying, Man. Yes, man. And that's when I felt like something big is here. Yes. Until, until somebody said it. Look here, I'm walking in the fields with you and it's pure goose pimples. Yeah, because I'm used to what is here. Mm-mm. Goose pimples all over my body. So down here is where you have the sweet pepper? Yes, down. Down to the bottom there? Yeah. Okay, so sweet pepper is not one of, it's not something that goes well with me. Yeah. I've been hearing that I'm not supposed to plant it because, you know, it doesn't heal when I plant, heal when I plant it much. Or, you know, pray the larceny, whatever. But, um, I still go ahead and plant it. I have sweet pepper now, you know. Yes. Yeah, man, and they're big. Wow. They're big and fluffy right now. I still these are these are young. I just planted these. We can mm -hmm. hardly see them, as you can see, they are small, and they're like a herb that needs to be weed out of here. I think sweet pepper is a good crop to plant. It yeah. doesn't take too long to come, and it's easy to reap. What What did you do? Did, did you put it in the trays in the ceiling trays? Yes. I did not do that. Oh, you didn't put it in the trays. I do it on the ground. Oh. and just pull them and transplant them okay maybe that's why they take so long to come back up because after you pull them and transplant yes they're going to go back down and then you know so next time you try it in the tree yes mm -hmm. so all this area is sweet peppers but they are young they're freshly planted yeah i can see baby sweet peppers yes. so that's all sweet pepper you're looking at did you know that um older folks that's, that's, this is an older folks saying mm -hmm. whenever um you plant anything yeah right into fire burn as in the ashes where the fire burns mm -hmm. it tends to come better than planted elsewhere oh yeah you ever heard of that no <laughs> yes they said when I plant pumpkins yeah. especially pumpkins in fire burn yes like this right yes, here yes it yields more it's more healthier and stuff like that I don't know why so you know you have it you have to test that meat for yourself yes. or if, if it's a meat or not yeah, maybe the ash because now you have it where the um, fire burn here yeah. maybe the ash is some sort of fertilizer natural fertilizer or some just some sort of something maybe you know maybe know. but I'm gonna try it yes they are freshly planted mm-hmm Yeah. This is definitely what we need from our young people in Jamaica to let them know that agriculture is actually a career that to the economy of our country. I mean, without food, we can't survive, right? And what better way to leave your mark on society or to play a role as a citizen of your country than to be farming and providing food for the country. And this is exactly what farmer girl Jessie is doing here. Excellent farming from our young female farmer. Oh, I'm out of breath walking your field, man. How much acres you said this is? Oh. Yes. 
How long is that before the carrots come? These ones, I we would say, are organic. They did not get any spray today. As you can see, I was praying today, mm. but I did not spray because on it. Mm. So, yes. These are fresh cabbages from Jesse's farm. Yes, thank you so much, Jesse. So I can make some nice salad with this. I just steam some cabbage with some carrots. Yes, and salfish. And salfish. Yes, yes and some banana good. and them something there. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so thank you. Alright. Okay, Jesse, so from one female farmer to another, I want to give you this two gallons of um, liquid organic fertilizer. Try it out and tell me how it is. I've always read about it, but I've never used it. Before. You must try it out, man, because yeah. it's really it's good. Oh, no, it's not labeled. Oh. But the gentleman that makes it, he makes it from. Oh, it's, it's organic stuff? Yes. Oh. It's from pig manure, um, pig. Goat and chicken manure. And he sells it? Yes, he oh. sells it. He has a big market for it. So oh. you see like this gallon bottle? Mm -hmm. Use this gallon bottle to a 45 gallon drum like that. You one. Those blue drums, yes. Right. Um that's if you're spraying it, but if you're going to use it like watering it, yes. you put half of this in the drum. The same okay. 45 gallon drum. Yeah. And then you just water it. Try it. Try it and give me a feedback. So this particular organic fertilizer is a green one. It's an insecticide, mm -hmm. a fungicide, and a fertilizer. Oh, green one. Yes, green one. So you know you don't have to buy the fertilizer different from the yes. Yeah. So yeah. just try it out and let me know yes, how I'm it works for you. I'm definitely going to do that. And this now is some sorrel seeds. Yes. I don't know if you have a plant sorry. It looks hybrid though. It looks like the hybrid one. Yes, it's the hybrid one. Yes. So when it's sorrel seed, you don't have to plant it when you just plant it whenever you want, you know, sorrel yes. beer all year round. Yes. But you definitely should. You know, people are older folks save sorrel in, in gallon drugs. Mm -hmm. Even after Christmas they have it. Yes. In the middle of the year. Yes. And it's cured and it's better that time. It's stronger that time. You know what? Yes, I mean? I, my grandmother used to do it. But I don't really see people doing it much now but I know my grandma used to do it. Yeah, Jamaicans are the best. Yeah. <laughs> and this is thyme, fresh thyme from yes. my garden. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Not a female farmer, right? Yes. <laughs> so um, does um, it have root to replant? Yes, you can replant it. Yes, yes. You can replant yes. it. So you can try you can try it and then transplant yes. it and you know yeah. eventually you'll have a little thyme garden for yourself. Yes, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yes. Yes, so you give me cabbage and I give you thyme. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so as I said before, my social platform and Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, it is um, Farmer Girl Jessie. Yes. yes, you can find me on our platforms at Farmer Girl Jessie. Right. Thank you. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to our channel, guys, and support Good day them. with Jessie and the farm. Farmer Girl Jessie, as she's known by many people. Yes. So, Jessie, thank you so much. For having me today, my out of breath <laughs> walking Thanks your farm. Here. <laughs> yes, it's a pleasure. Yes, yes, and uh, this season, yes. your heel will be bountiful. Thank you, yes, man. And I hope you don't have no problem with seals, yes. as they say, you don't usually have any problems with it. And persons who are watching this video and want to, you know, do something towards her farming, help her in some way her number and all of her necessary information it will be in the description of the video and also i will pin it in the comment section so once more guys from farmer girl jesse peel here in saint elizabeth i want to tell you to walk good and make good doppy walk with you <laughs>